Good morning. Welcome to school today. It is Friday. We have a long weekend and I think it might be payday today too. So it's kind of a great Friday. We're all wearing our new cool, whoop, there's mine. <laughs> that was attractive. Um, brand new shirts. Teachers, if you guys would take a couple of pictures in your new shirts, we'd love to post that onto Facebook uh, and thank Greer White and Maggard for providing those to us. All right, so let's get our day started by standing for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so it is Friday, September the 3rd. Um, let's see what we're having for lunch today first. We're having turkey hot dogs on a bun or grilled cheese sandwiches, corn and vegetarian chili, diced pears, fresh apples, um, and then cookies. They're having celebration cookies or chocolate chip cookies. So I think it's just depending on which ones are cooked for that time. Let's see who's celebrating a birthday today on the 3rd. We don't have any boys and girls celebrating birthdays, but it is Miss Rupert Cox's birthday today. So happy birthday to her. Um, and over the weekend, let's see, it looks like Anna Babchenik celebrates a birthday, and so does Xavier Power celebrate a birthday. And then I think our next birthday is um, once we get back to school after Labor Day. Remember that Monday is a holiday, and you don't come to school on Monday, okay? So it's Labor Day, um, and we'll be doing that instead. So enjoy an extra day at home. A couple of quick reminders. Remember that if you need um, to have a breakfast or if you want to have a breakfast, please take that when you come because it's really important that you not come back, okay? Because we're giving them out as we go um, and the whole purpose of walking right by them is to grab that. So if you get to the classroom and you didn't get it, then that's kind of one of those tough lessons we have to learn in life, okay? Um, also, we seem to be struggling with making sure we get off the bus with a mask. So the uh, mandate, it's a mandate on the bus. You have to rock, wear a mask on the bus, and you're supposed to keep that on the whole time. So when you get off the bus, you should have a mask. If you, for some reason, were able to slip on the bus without a mask, which shouldn't be happening, then you need to get one from your driver before you walk off the bus, okay? That's super, super important. Um, and reminder, quick and cafeteria to clean up after yourselves, okay? Pick up, please. And um, I think we're going to have some golden specialists to be able to talk about soon, too. Uh, and remember that our manner of the week is if you don't want something, say no thank you. All right, so if someone says, would you like a Twizzler, and you don't like Twizzlers, and you just say no thank you. All right, congratulations to Miss, congratulate. I don't know why I keep saying congratulations. Congratulations to Miss Wicks' class. They've completed their second red oak chart. Also, oh, also Miss Grace's class has completed a second red oak chart, and um, I had I got one more this morning. Where is it? Oh, here it is, right here. And congratulations to Miss Watkins, first graders. They have completed three red oak charts. They are in the lead. I know that Mr. White mentioned this yesterday, but our transportation department, our bus folks, are actually writing shout outs for us. Yesterday we got one, um, and I think let's see, it's. Yeah, okay, so uh, it is for both Tamari and Tamaya Stapleton. It says, they set a good example to other students. I love that because they are fifth graders too, super proud. Uh, they stay in their seats and they faced forwards. Good job, Tamari, good job, Tamaya. And I'll get those to you so you can take those home and show them to your mama. Maybe we'll even mail them home. That might be even more fun to do. All right, I got some other teacher shout outs. Grace and Casey from Ms. Kells' class helped a friend clean up their pencil box when it spilled, and so did Jackson Bundy. Thank you, Grayson and Jackson. These are all from Ms. Quinn's class. Sam Long stacked chairs that were left down after dismissal. Reagan Petro gave her friend banana bread since they were hungry and she had an extra. Um, Grayson Raleigh and Evelyn. Evelina Babchenik helped organize supplies after the class put them away. Sam Long also picked up trash that wasn't him his. Thank you, Sam. I just love it when you guys are respectful of our place and, and clean up, even if it's not yours. Um, Zayden Kidwell, Zayden Olding, and Zach Garland helped students switch desks. Kaylin Perry helped a friend find his place in the book. And Zaylin Olding had a great, Zayden, I'm sorry, Zayden Olding held, he helped close all the Chromebooks and this was his first week at Red Oak. So thank you, uh, Zayden, for getting right back into the swing of things. All right, so say the Red Oak expectations with me. Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn, do our best, 
own our behavior, always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is so important to me that you are kind to one another here, there, and everywhere, that you keep your hands and your feet to yourselves, and, and, and ugly words, just keep those to yourselves too, please. And remember that our bathrooms and our hallways are silent places so that everybody can learn. Have a fabulous day, have a fabulous weekend. Do your work and do it well. I love you guys, and I will see you on Tuesday.